Hello, welcome back to our Ostrov Alpha 3 Let's Play. Uh, today the devs released Patch 4, which added a bunch of new features to the game. Most notably, for I think a lot of people, is going to be the addition of the trading dock. So I'm right here in my 1,028 person town right now. I'm going to find a spot to put this trading dock. I think it would behoove us to put it someplace like this. There we go. And they're going to go getting to build that. Now, one of the other things that they said they fixed in this update is the removal of a lime kiln that is partially filled. So let's see. Okay. Finish burning first. I can't really make this empty, can I? Let's, let's see if that works. But one of the other things they fixed is carpentries and smithies. Well, n not so much fixed as modified. Carpentries and smithies now have the option to have three employees. So I'm going to go over here to my carpentry. I'm going to go to higher options and just bump this up to three. Apply to all. We'll do the same thing with our smithy. There we go. So that should be fixed. Uh, the dev also said that he fixed CPU performance in big towns or slightly improved. It is stuttering still a little bit, but eh, it looks it looks mostly okay. Okay, let's see. There's also another town to trade with by river, so we'll see when the thing gets finished. Also, the game is paused. You should probably unpause it. That might help. Uh, slower building rotation if we press control. He changed how far away people can work from their homes, so we'll see how that uh, that affects our current employment. Uh, cow shed workers will not mow hay too far from their cow shed. Uh, industry high-tech solutions, I think if you saw the Twitter post, that's a, a woman carrying two buckets of water at once. Uh, he increased the price of leather, removed the hotkey to rotate a building 180 degrees, uh, CPU performance, FPS limiting, sh uh, shadow on water surfaces. Yeah, if you come over here, Look specifically at the church. You can see the shadow of the church is uh, in the water. Pretty detailed, actually. A very small improvement, but I think a very good one. You can see trees and buildings and stuff. I mean, this game has always looked really nice, in my opinion, but good to see he's making other changes like that. Another thing I want to check out in this brief video, it's not going to be a full-length Let's Play episode, but you can, uh, now when you're putting in fields for farms, it'll show you the size of the fields. So I want to take a look at that real quick. Let's just go to this farm for no reason. Alright, let's just come over here. Too long, okay. Yeah, okay, you see right there it says 43 by 26 units. Let's see if I can do four. I'm not going to leave this field here. but Okay, so it has the length of each side and it tells you how many units. That's pretty cool. Well, we're going to get rid of that because I don't need another field for that farm. That is a pretty cool update. I know I requested, not formally, I did not ask the dev for it, but I did request in a couple of my Let's Plays that we could do that. Uh, supposedly, field workers are also able to grab more than one uh, bundle of stuff at a time when they're harvesting, which is good. Uh, fishing trip unit, something has been adjusted. I, I'm reading this off of my second monitor while I'm talking here. Uh, so apparently the offer of oxen, bulls, and boars in the trading dialogue has been updated. Uh, some sort of fix with AMD graphics cards. I have a 2070 Super, so that doesn't apply to me, but I know a lot of people were frustrated with it. Weird trade animation, tw or trade wagon animation on a bridge. I don't know what that's about. Uh, apply to all. Uh, hmm. Okay, so a lot, a lot of little bug fixes. Uh oh, the eggs were sold to citizens 100 times more expensive than needed. I didn't know about that. That seems like something that would uh, cause some problems with the economy. Uh, okay, at the very bottom, couldn't demolished unfinished lime kiln in some cases. I don't know if that means the building was unfinished. Oh my god, here's the studying air again. Okay. All right, I want them to build this. We're going we're gonna to go back to our 12x uh, speed. Because I really want to see how this trading with the other town by river works. That, I think, is my favorite part of the uh, the update that he's shown. Oh, a trading partner from Derkachi. You know what that means? Oh, we have so much salt. We don't need to buy salt. Um, lime. Well, we're actually almost positive with our cash flow here. So I... 
We we have some lime. Uh, oh my god, we <laughs> we have twenty seven thousand leather. I haven't played this file in a very long time, but I figured since there was an update, I might as well boot it back up. Uh, metal parts. Eh, if we need them, we'll make them. Iron. Oh, we need iron, so I'm gonna buy iron. Don't need livestock, flour. We shouldn't have to buy ever. Plenty of sallow. Dried fish never hurts. Potatoes, we have plenty. Clothing, uh, I can sell 430. So we're going to do that. Sunflower oil, I can sell all of that. Charcoal, I, I guess. I have 200 and... No, I have 2.5 million. Okay, yeah, you can buy 96. That's okay. Shoes, I can sell shoes. All right, that'll work. Man, I forgot how slow they are at building stuff. I guess they have to just keep doing their thing. Oh, they're actually emptying this. Okay, that's good. Why is it adding limestone? No, I don't I don't want you to add limestone. Okay. Yeah, just empty this so I can demolish it, please. We can't ever We can't do anything else cuz I don't have uh enough to do. Why is it why is there more? No, no, get this out of here. All right, well, we'll leave that alone. That seems like it's a mess. All right, I kind of reached a point with this Let's Play where I was like, well, what else am I going to possibly do now? But this adds a little bit of stuff for us to do here with the Nether Trading Dock and the rebalancing of employment uh, distribution as far as how people live might affect how the, the map plays, so we'll see. I will play around with it a little bit, and if I see anything interesting happening, I'll do another couple episodes of this. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to come back to this Let's Play specifically until there's a major update. And I might even just start over, depending on how major the update is. Oh, more people keep dying. That's good. Um, I am still planning on doing the uh, building tutorial videos. I, As soon as I figured out he might push an update out, I delayed doing any more of them in case... He might have fixed something that I was about to make a video on, and I didn't want to make it twice. But uh, now I see he didn't really change anything on the farm except uh, counting the field size, which is very useful to know. So that will be the next video that comes out. I don't know when that will be out. But it will be out in, I don't know, hopefully not too long. Yeah, it was already, oh, horse is dying of starvation. Why is that dying of starvation? Why do you not have any food? Do these have food? Yeah, they have food. Okay, you have... You have hay right here. How are the horses dying? Rest, going to work, working, buying shoes. We'll stop buying shoes and feed your horses. They need food. The, literally, there is food right here. There is food right here. Get your butt to the stable and put food in with the horses. These guys still have food. They're not dying. Man, they're dropping like flies. Oh, the stuttering's back. I'm going to have to do something about that. I don't... Th this game just really doesn't like large, uh, large towns, I guess. It also doesn't help that I have uh, other things running in the background. I guess I could probably... Oh, God, stop dying. Literally, why? There's so much. There is so much stuff right here. That's all fixed. What in the... All right, I guess all the horses are just going to die. That's fine. Okay, now, finally, they're doing hay. Yeah, so I, I am sorry for the stuttering. I, it has just been a huge problem the entire time I've been playing this game on a large town like this. And this, for some reason, is still receiving limestone. I don't, I don't want this. I just want it to be empty. Okay, can I finally demolish this? Need to finish burning first. There's nothing to burn. Okay, well, that's going to be there forever then. And I can't get rid of the stone mining camp because I can't get rid of the carts. Wait, did he add more limestone? No, he couldn't have. Because I already started this. So why... Stone mining camp. So, this would be limestone. I can't even remember what else goes in here. Limestone and charcoal, I guess? I don't know. I'm just gonna... I'm just not gonna worry about it. Alright. So, if this ever finishes, we can try that. Um, let's see. No, it's not gonna like that when I... I don't know. 
have to edit that out. Okay, I want to take a look at the fishing. It says he added a help text for the fishing. Oh, okay. This is actually pretty helpful. 9 to 15 units of fish. Okay, that's what it said in the update log. Um, oh, and there's also, right here, you can only produce dried fish if that's what you want to do with your fishing dock. I just, I don't, because I don't want to use that much salt. Okay, trading dock is done. Let's take a look at this thing. Pretty nice looking model. Uh, you got a little crane here for the boats. Um, of course, you have to hire a manager. Of course, always do this, just because why would you never not do that? Hire a manager, I'll hire... I'll just go ahead and... Oh, stop. Hire four workers. Oh, there we are. Okay, so let's go to the world map. Okay, so... Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. So that is our new uh, river trading town. Uh, four days by river. Let's send a messenger. Oh, not enough money, of course. So I guess we just have to wait until we get more money. Alright, so you know how we fix that. Let's bump up our market products for a little bit. And then that should fix itself quickly. So I will be back when that's fixed, and we can hire a messenger to go to the river town. Okay, so I adjusted the economy a little bit, and I can put that back down to where it belongs at 10%. Oh, wow, I didn't even have to pay for one. He just came up. Okay, cool, so let's see what they have to offer. Salt, good. Honey, dried fish. They're demanding sunflower oil, flour, clothes, and sallow. So you know what? I'm not going to buy salt, but I am going to sell... Oh. I don't have any sunflower oil? Oh, because it's not stocked here. Okay. I'm just going to try and see if I can get away with doing that. I guess I have to stock... Uh, these things now. Let's see if I can sell that. Sallow, I know. Okay, town storage. So I think what we're going to have to do is... I'm going to slow this down so he doesn't leave. Uh, so if you go to our trading post here, I have clothes in stock. I have 100, which is how much I tried to sell this guy. I have 3824. I think I tried to sell this guy 2000 so we have to go in here and we can create our own stock. So if we know the guy, the guy is buying sunflower oil, flour, clothes, and salad, we can stock those. Um, can I not? Oh, it won't let me because it's already in the trading post. I think. Will it let me do clothes? Yeah, it looks like that's how that, uh, huh. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I should be able to do both of them, um at either one. I might email him about that in a sec. Well, regardless, we'll see if the uh, the trading actually is successful. So we have we come up here. Here comes the river guy. Oh, let's watch him come up. Where does he come where does he come from? Where does he go? Where does he come from? Cotton Eye Joe. So we should see at some point the river uh, trade guy come in. I remember the uh, the tweet that announced this had a picture of a sailboat. So we should, at some point, see a sailboat. I don't know what direction he'd be coming from. We don't see... Is it coming from this direction? Does he get stuck? Oh, look! Look, here's sailboats. It's so cute. Okay, the game's paused. Okay. So there's trading boats. They're coming to get their stuff. So I guess they come from this direction in the north. Uh oh, are they going to be able to get under the bridge? Well, let's find out. These bridges are pretty low. I don't know if he would have added a clipping for uh, for bridges. Well, okay, that's realistic. <laughs> I don't think that was uh, one of his intentions when he when he put these in. But that's pretty cool. The bigger boats with the sailboats. I would like to see bigger fishing boats. Instead of this like little tiny one, or like some sort of upgraded version of a fishing dock that would be more efficient and could hire more people, kind of like a farm with uh, laborers maybe, but for fish, and you could have big boats like this, especially on that big map where you have like the entire huge lake thing. I think that would work really well. But they're gonna come on down here. 
And if the trade duel doesn't cancel, we know it was done correctly. So let's see, they're going to pull up, yeah, they're going to mesh right through the other fishing boat. Okay, that guy's dead. Um, yeah. I really like this. That's very pleasing looking. You can see a guy in the back uh, on the tiller. Oh, wow, that was uh, majestic. Okay, so... Uh, he just turned right around. But he didn't load anything. Oh, is that because it wasn't loaded in here? Right, we'll find out. Because it should tell me a trade deal was cancelled. Okay, okay, nope. They just turned around. Um... Okay, this number should have updated. Okay, so if these guys leave and it says trade deal canceled, we'll know they're on their way out. They'll be out of the town boundary in, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Okay, that would be very interesting if they don't, uh, they don't let you do that unless it's exported. Because I can't do that because they're already exported here. Yeah, it didn't take that, it didn't take that. That's really disappointing. Hmm. Okay, well, yeah, I'll, I'll send him an email when I'm done recording this video. So I, I would assume as soon as these guys get out that they will uh, they'll tell us, hey, a trade deal was canceled because you didn't have any money. Or not money, you didn't have anything exported. But that is, it's very cool that this exists. I just wish I could, uh, you know, use it because I had the, the stuff at the trading post. Or it should at the very least allow you to share stuff between trading posts. Alright, so these guys are just about out of town. Now their family is moving out. That's good. Probably pissed off that I charged five times as much as they're used to paying for stuff. Okay, so those boats disappear when they leave the map. But we didn't get a notification that said a trade deal was cancelled. Or maybe we did and I just wasn't paying attention. I'm sure if that happened, someone... Oh my god, the stuttering is bad. All right, well, I think we're, we're just about out of time and out of sanity for this video as far as the uh, computer is concerned. But I did want to at least, like, get in here and do something. Uh, we did increase the maximum number of workers at the carpentry and the smithy to three. Uh, I have not looked at leather prices. I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, there's another bench model, apparently. Um, oh! Oh, we can watch the guys harvesting the field workers. So let's um, let's take a look at this right here. So these guys are harvesting. I would assume... Okay, now we're out of burial plots. I'll do that in a second. But now when they uh, when they harvest, of course, they leave uh, these little piles of stuff. So I think what the, uh, what the thing was... Okay, so he's carrying multiples of that. I think what the update did is it lets them gather more than one of these. I don't know why they're just standing at the edge of the field. Okay. That's strange. Well, it does seem to be harvesting pretty efficiently. So let's take a look at our other farms. Okay, this guy's already done. This one's our... Okay, it's not all the way done. So this uh, this pile of uh, buckwheat does look different. I don't know if it actually is. Could just be because I haven't played the game in two or three months. Well, I, I, did, I made a video last month. Because I got 100 subscribers. Thank you, by the way, if you're one of the new subscribers. I promise I do post content. It's just been a little crazy in here. I started a new job doing some web development type stuff. But, uh, yeah, okay, they're not doing anything with that, so that's going to be irritating. Uh, they're just doing that thing. Okay, that guy grabbed more than one, so I think that's exactly what that was talking about. Oh, that's stuttering. I'm so sorry. I'll try, try and fix it. But the solution at this point might just be just start a new town. Uh, okay, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Let's see, wh what else? Okay, he also added a reminder to build a training post when you're running out of iron for the first time. Starting treasury was increased, minor UAI changes. Um, oh, apply to all applies to unfinished buildings. That's good. That was a gripe I had way back when, when I was building a lot of stuff at once. But yeah, we have three guys working in our carpentry, three guys working in the smithy. Very good, very good. We're making progress. I think the horses stopped dying. So now, I think the last thing I'll do before I get you guys out of here for today is uh, we'll build some more uh, gravestones over here. How about that? Burial plot. Okay, rotate that. Oh, I already forgot what everything is. Um, okay, F is rotate 90 degrees. Yeah, he did say that he removed a option to rotate 180 degrees. 
because if you have an option to rotate 90 degrees, just push it twice and don't complicate things. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. All right, here we'll do one more. All right, and this this will be a, a decent, probably about 20 minute video. Now, sorry, not a whole lot of substantial updates. Again, I'm not really advancing the town per se until we get a major update. I'm just doing a little bit of minor fixes. But yeah, I'm, I'm even though the the trade by uh, river thing doesn't work very well currently. Uh, if I wanted to, I could go in here and I could add stuff that I'm not selling to the other one and just sell that exclusively. I know he did say, the other messenger said he wanted to buy a couple things, I think, that we didn't have for sale over here. So I'm not super worried about it. Uh, this is the three uh, the three towns you can trade on this, and it's just the one for right now, so that's not really a big deal. But that's a very cool feature added. I am so sorry, the stuttering is terrible. Uh, let's see, anything else I want to take a look at before I get you guys out of here? Uh, improved the chicken model. Let's take a look at the chickens. I want to see what these chickens look like. I'm going to be completely honest. I can't really tell a difference. I think there might be a couple new colors, but the chicken model doesn't look that different. What does Marifa want? They want to buy some sunflower oil. Well, I can sell them some sunflower oil. Uh, I'm not going to sell them sallow because we actually need that. Uh, chicken eggs. That's the same price. Sunflowers, no. Lime, no. Dried fish, I don't even make that. Okay, that's fine. Well, I think that's just about it for this episode. We accomplished a lot, and I'm probably giving somebody a seizure with this right now, so we're stopping that. Okay, well, as always, thank you guys for watching. I know it's uh, not as frequent of videos as you'd like or even I'd like, but I do appreciate that you take your time out of your day to watch the videos and participate in what I'm doing here. So if you're one of those people that always likes and comments and interacts, thank you. And if not, that's fine, too. I'm just glad you enjoy the content. But that's all I got for now. I'll be back hopefully soon with another guide video, probably on the farm, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.